Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is again about FET and here we will be discussing voltage divider bias and also example 7.4. Now the voltage divider bias circuit is shown here. Basically if you look here, this is dividing the supply voltage into two parts and voltage across R2 is actually applied at the gate so that is why it is called voltage divider bias and if we separate this term then uh, we can write that this, this voltage which is vg by voltage division rule vdd divided by the two resistances multiplied by r2 And as we had done earlier also, we, we write the uh, KVL equation here to, to find the uh, network, network equation. So like by KVL, we start from here. Now the, this voltage Vg is now present. So minus Vg plus Vgs plus Vrs equal to zero. And manipulating Vg is Vg minus Vrs. So this is our VRS we are writing IDRS. So this is our network equation. Okay, and uh, uh, as we have done in the previous uh, several examples, uh, by taking a couple of values, we can plot the network graph. This is an empty line. And first of all, we taking ID is equal to zero. Now this is ID, so ID is equal to zero. If you put ID is equal to zero, then VG will be a VGS will be equal to VG. So this is VGS, and let's say this point is plus VG. So we will mark here. We marking this point. So that is first. Taking another point. Uh, let's say that the other point is VGS is equal to zero. That means we are here. So if you put VGS is equal to zero, then we'll get uh, from here zero and then ID is VG over RS. So VG over RS, some value here. Uh, so let's mark that point. Let's say this point is VG over RS. You, when we put actual value, then we will know that uh, there, there's a some point on here. And so if we just connect these two lines and extend, this will be our network graph. Connecting and extending, uh, we get the network graph. Now, let's see the example now. Determine the following uh, for the network. So this is the network. And we have to. The example 7.4 says determine the following for the network. So this is the network and we have to find these uh, four, four or five items. So we'll, we'll do one by one. First of all, it is saying IDQ and VGSQ. Again, we have learned from the previous examples that if we have the network uh, characteristics curve and the transfer characteristics curve, we can superimpose to find the Q point. So we'll do exactly the same. This is used to find the device characteristics curve or transfer characteristics curve, uh, the Shockley's equation. And we take a couple of values. Now let's say VGS is equal to zero. Then from here, this will be zero. And so ID will be IDSS. And IDSS is 8 milliampere. So this graph, uh, you can see when VG is 0, then it is at 8. So we mark it here. And similarly, we take two or three more points and we plot this uh, curve, which is called the device characteristics curve. So like if you take VGS is equal to VP by 2. Now VP is minus 4. That means it will be minus two, so somewhere here. Uh -huh. 
okay wow. and now we'll uh, upload the network characteristics curve so this equation uh, for the network vgs plus vr is equal to zero and from there we can get this sorry we we, we have now we have vg so vg vgs and vrs this equation we already derived so vgs is vg minus idrs and now uh, first of all we have to find vg by the voltage deviant rule that we have learned earlier so this vdd divided by the two resistances multiplied by r2 so we get vg is 1.82 And now in this equation, the network equation, we put the value of VG. Uh, we don't know ID, but we know RS 1.5K. And now if we assume that ID is 0 milliampere, from here then VGS will be 1.82. And if we take VGS is equal to 0, then ID from this equation will be 1.21 so these two points are enough to plot our uh, network uh, graph first point is 1.82 this is the, and the second point is 1.21 so we connect this line so this is the network graph and now we combine these two to find this graph and wherever these two uh, uh, intersect that is our q point so you can see from here IDQ is 2.4 milliampere and VGSQ is minus 1.8 volt. So that is our answer for the uh, first part. And now part B, uh, we have to find VD. So VD, that means this voltage here is VDD minus IDRD. And putting in the values, uh, we get VD as 10.24 volt. Next point was to find Vs. Vs is this voltage here, which is ISRS or IDRS. And again, putting in the value, we get Vs to be 3.6 volt. And next is VDS. VDS is, uh, we can find this voltage minus this drop and minus this drop. So VDD minus IDRD and uh, plus RS. The same current is flowing so vds is 6.6 volt or we can also find vds from uh, here vd this v uh, this voltage vd minus this uh, vs uh, vd we had calculated 10.24 we had also calculated 3.6 vs so you get the same answer 6.64 I hope you've been able to follow this exactly same technique we are following. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Uh, the voltage VG can be easily determined. VGS. Now this uh, is new. This is VGS. This voltage also is asked to find, but it's not difficult. We can find from VDG. Sorry, VDG, this voltage, VDG is asked to find. So we can find it from VD minus VG. VD minus VG is our VDG. VD minus VG is 8.42 volt. Thank you.